Hi, I'm Christine Wynn, Historic Preservation Planner for the City of Anaheim. Welcome to the second video in the Mills Act video series. If you haven't already done so, feel free to check out the first video in our series on what the Mills Act program is. In this video, we'll talk about the steps involved in applying to the City of Anaheim's Mills Act program. Let's get started. The first step is to contact me to find out whether or not your property is preliminarily eligible for the Mills Act program. I will review basic information about your property, such as date constructed and location. I will also research any building permits or historical images that we have on file that would show any prior modifications made on the property. If your property seems to meet the basic requirements for preliminary eligibility, I will schedule a consultation with you at your property. I will meet you along with our architectural consultant to review the historic integrity of the exterior of your property. We will only evaluate what is visible to the public right of way, which typically includes the front and sides of the property. If your property seems to be a good candidate for the program, I will follow up with you with a list of preliminary work items. These will need to be completed before you submit your application for the Mills Act program. Please note, the completion of the items listed does not guarantee a Mills Act contract, but is merely a starting point in the application process. Often, historical research may result in additional items or information that may affect the eligibility of the property. Consultations are conducted each year between January and July. During that time, you will also begin the other portion of the application process, preparing a historic survey. A historic survey is a document that provides information on a property's architectural features and history. The survey is also used to help determine eligibility for the Mills Act program, so it's best to complete it as soon as possible. To learn about the historic survey process, you'll need to schedule an appointment with the city's Heritage Services Manager. You can choose to either prepare your own survey or hire a professional historic preservation consultant to prepare one for you. Which brings us to the next phase in the application timeline in step two. Submit your complete application package. Your application package will include the following items. Your historic survey submitted to the Heritage Services Manager by the end of July. An application form which includes basic information about the ownership and use of the property. A maintenance and rehabilitation or 10 year plan. This helps make the case for how you'll be using your tax savings to maintain your property. Your consultation will result in a list of items that you may include in this plan. Photographs of all sides of all structures on your property after you have completed your pre-contract rehabilitation items, and a copy of the most recent version of your recorded grant deed. In August, city staff will inspect your property for a final review of eligibility. The city's planning director will review all applications and make a final determination on who will be accepted into the Mills Act program. If your application is approved, congratulations! You're now approved to be part of the third largest Mills Act program in the state. You'll be invited to attend a contract signing meeting where you'll learn more about the Mills Act program and sign your official Mills Act contracts. And now, it's time to celebrate. You will be recognized by our city council in the spring and will be presented with your bronze Mills Act plaque for you to proudly display on your property. You will also see the adjustment on your property tax bill at the end of the year following the year you applied. So let's take a moment to recap all the application steps. Contact me at the city to see if you may be preliminarily eligible. Prepare your historic survey. Complete all of your required rehabilitation items and submit your application. And that's how you apply for the City of Anaheim's Mills Act program. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or check out our website to learn more about the Mills Act and to watch the other video in the series on what the Mills Act is. Until next time, I'm Christine Wynn. Thanks for watching.